Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic, the limit theorem. We have this given, so evaluate the indicated limit. Then we have the limit of 3x as x approaches to negative 2. So in this case, we can use direct substitution. So we just need to substitute this negative 2 to x. So this becomes 3 times negative 2 then simplify so 3 times negative 2 this one is negative 6 so the limit is equal to negative 6 then for this given so as x approaches to positive 3 so using direct substitution so x is positive 3 so we have 3 to the power 2 then plus 7 times 3, 10 minus 5. Then simplify, so 3 to the power 2, this one is positive 9, plus 7 times 3, this one is 21, then minus 5. Then simplify, so we have 9 plus 21, this one is 30, and 30 minus 5, that's positive 25. Then for this given, so as x approaches to positive 6, so using direct substitution, so we have 8, then times, this one is positive 6, then minus 5, times, positive 6, then minus 7, then simplify, so we have 8 times 6 minus 5, this one is positive 1, times 6 minus 7, that's negative 1. Then simplify, so 8 times 1, this one is positive 8, and positive 8 times negative 1, so the limit is equal to negative 8. Then for this given, so as x approaches to negative 2, so using direct substitution, so we have 5 times negative 2, then plus 7 to the power 4. Then simplify, so 5 times negative 2, that's negative 10, then plus 7 to the power 4. Then this negative 10 plus 7, this one is negative 3, then to the power 4. And this negative 3 to the power 4, so we have negative 3, times negative 3, then we have negative 3 times negative 3, so negative 3 times negative 3, this one is positive 9, also positive 9, and 9 times 9, so this negative 3 to the power 4 is positive 81. Then for this given, so if the equation contains a fraction, so we need to be careful that the denominator is not equal to 0 because if the denominator is equal to 0, then that given becomes undefined or infinite. So using direct substitution, so as x approaches to positive 3, so we have 4 times 3, then minus 5, then over, 5 times 3, then minus 1. Then simplify, so this 4 times 3, this one is 12, minus 5, and 5 times 3, this one is 15, then minus 1. Then simplify, so 5 minus 12, this one is 7, and 15 minus 1, this one is 14. Since we can reduce this 7 over 14, so divisible by 7, so we have now 1 over 2. So the limit is equal to 1 over 2. Then for this given, so as x approaches to positive 2, so we have now 2 to the power 2, then minus 5, then over 2 times 2, then to the power 3, then plus 6. 
then simplify so this 2 to the power 2 this one is 4 then minus 5 then we have 2 times 2 to the power 3 this one is 8 then plus 6 then simplify so 4 minus 5 this one is negative 1 and 2 times 8 this one is 16 then plus 6 then simplify so we have now negative 1 then over 16 plus 6 that's 22 so the limit is equal to negative 1 over 22 then for an equation contains a radical so using direct substitution so as x approaches to negative 2 so we have the square root of 16 then minus 7 times x is negative 2 then simplify so we have now 16 then this negative 7 times negative 2 so negative times negative that's positive 14 and this 16 plus 14 so we have now the square root of positive 30 then for this given so as x approaches to 0 so we have the square root of 0 to the power 3 then minus 8 over 0 then minus 4 then simplify so we have the square root of this negative 8 over negative 4 then simplify so negative divide by negative that's positive and 8 divide by 4 that's positive 2 so the limit is equal to square root of positive 2